Listen, now I'm asking for forgiveness because a bitch was in New York City trying to live his best life. With that being said, let's get to episode two and three of Insecure. This is the reaction and the review. All right, Issa. What you did? I wonder if they got a homeless problem. Uh. It wasn't racist when I made it. It's my hand. My hand's helping the community. It's not a handout. It's a hand out. I hate to be positive <laughs> ways and go for happiness. I wasn't trying to insult anyone with the name. Everybody's I getting her together. To <laughs> I want to be woke when a bitch fit an alarm clock since day one. Well, beep, beep, motherfuckers. Beep, beep. Um. <laughs> Sometimes I just want to be ratchet. Your music be make me want to think. It's like, why though? <laughs> <laughs> I got panties there, too. Warren, come to the door. Well, if it'll make you feel better, then you can throw him a few extra bucks. Oh, yeah. You're not, you're not charging me still. I'm sorry, what? You're not charging me still. You know? You can't keep buying. <laughs> no. Not even a little bit. Clean it. Clean it. Come on, Kelly. You're yelling in his car. Yeah. <laughs> Mm. Don't look a gift horse in a dick. Mm. That's not a thing. It is. My grandmother said it to me. Oh my god. It's like you do so well and then you don't. And I should fuck Warren. Uh. Oh. Uh, I'm some lesbian. Hey, sir. Oh, hey. What's your name? Cody, you're on speaker. Okay, you know? Nope, thanks. Bye. Hi, I'm Ethan. I'm black and angry. We should all be angry. <laughs> <laughs> I represent the gays and you represent black people. No, I don't want to be the voice of all black people. Well, it is what it is. But is there any way I can stay with you a couple weeks longer? Because you know I will reimburse you as soon as I get back on my feet. He's honestly, me and Vanessa, you know, um, she's not really cool with you being around all the time. Oh. So you better clean. <laughs> she was like, I can't have him talking. Shit. I'm trying. King, what's good, bro? You know, just staying in the lab, man. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, that's what's up. So what, uh, hey, no, no. Daniel, get out that pride, because Ethan low key just got you in the club, boo. Yeah. She gotta say it like that with her. Song from the internet on their new CD. Y'all gotta get it. I've been working on my shit for a long time. I talk a little and it feel like, like I just ain't getting nowhere. You're not nowhere. You work for Ty Dolla Sign. They make the album and that's what I'm saying. It's like, every time I feel like I'm about to get out the starting blocks with this shit, just like, nothing. 
Yeah, but you're good at what you do. I'm getting mad emotional with this conversation because I know how Daniel feels. But what about Vanessa? Huh? Oh, yeah, no, she, she be fine, man. I'll talk to her. Yes! Come on, Daniel. Who? Why don't you sleep in the bed with me tonight? Lisa? Isa, let him come. I'm I'm here for it. I'm not gonna be like Daniel. Please stop. No. Sleep in my bed. Woo! I'm um. Take it. Be working late, so. Take it. Take it, girl. Okay, cool. That's Thank right. you. Take it. Listen, listen. Pause, cause you know good and well if you've ever been in a situation like this before, bitch. First of all, you won't be in that bed most of the night. But we ain't gonna have to come back in there later. I will. Hey! That was a great way to end it. I'm very, I'm, I'm happy it didn't go, okay. See, that could have gone so many different ways. I'm glad it just ended with them listening to music. They both helped each other in this episode. Another great one. Uh, let's get to episode three now, and let me do my reaction of that, so we're just gonna transition into that. All right, now it's episode three of season three of Insecure. I said I'd do this all in one run, and I meant it, damn it. Let's go. I got my Shazam up in my notes because that's what you have to have watching the show. <laughs> that's because you took the good pillow. Oh. You know I got a weak neck. Wait. Oh. First of all, did I not tell y'all that I already saw this coming because once, once they allow you in the bed to sleep, Oh, you can use my bed. I'm going to the studio. <laughs> after, after the studio, what you about to do? Sleep in this bed, bitch. Oh, yes. Damn, I thought it was real. Ah! Hey. Yeah. I mean, I'm not gonna lie. Stay in the nails. It's kind of nice. What's so nice about sleeping on the couch? Mm, yeah. <laughs> Come on, Molly. Oh, girl, no. Oh girl, no. No. Like right. <laughs> Thank you. Molly's face. Ah! Hey, how you doing, buddy? You see, you know those for dogs. Why are y'all rocking it? It's a lot of wood. Naughty <laughs> pie. For well, not if you're the property manager. For you, it'd be 750. Oh! Seven what? Look, you're right. 750, Lord. Mm. I ain't even rent that load in forever. So you, oh, you, you made For my project. Mm. Okay. Yeah. Mm. 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 Yeah. Mm. Mm. Yeah. Mm. 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 Stop it, Issa. Oh my God. Ah, take him. Ah, no. What? Ah. Uh. <laughs> like Daniel smiles <laughs> like that. It's hard. That's that's hard. Like how you gonna let that go? I like to be in here. Why don't we just, you know, try to keep it like it is? Shit. Oh my God. Okay. Okay. What you gonna do with tennis? Don't play they ring, huh? You gonna shake somebody? Oh! Oh! I thought these boxes were gonna take the source. Yeah, they are. Yeah, they are. Your office is the storage. <laughs> wow. Yes, the girls are back. You got problems with black ferns. You got problems with black ferns. You got a lot of races. First of all, there are Mexican law firms too. I see them on the back buses all the time. Racist. <laughs> Mm. Right now. Are you sure you're not looking at them because they're a black law firm? Yup, we are harder on ourselves than white people sometimes mm. because we've been conditioned not to trust each other. Where's my drink? Can you still my drink? Tell me the bartender's 
Like, look at me. You love Beyonce, but did your ass sign up for titles? Of course I did. I just don't have a good one. And I hate to admit it, but even I have a white account. Kelly, what? Look at me. I said, what is that? Do I love that y'all have a group chat without me? No. Uh, no. 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 We definitely do, for sure. <laughs> it's fine. It's Kelly, fine. It's fine. we definitely it's do, fine. for it's sure. Fine. It's fine. Kelly. Yes. Yeah. No. I'm, you know why? Because we're talking and shit. He's been there for me, and I think I'm finally seeing him for who he really is. Shame on you, you don't got nothing in your eye. Ooh, don't Ooh. come fit. Oh. Yes. What? Kelly. So isn't that working for him? No. Mm -hmm. So y'all just gonna record on a bitch? Yes. Dumb bitch. <laughs> Five year plan. Oh yeah, good things come to five. Yeah. Um, five dollar foot long. <laughs> um, five guys burgers. Um, not all food. <laughs> Just toes. I like it. How's it for you? Mm. Right, right. And you know who got titties? Viola Davis. There you go. <laughs> yeah, you know, we, uh... <laughs> yeah, we actually have another version, too, though. Right? I don't know. I, I like the rock shit in the first one. But the drums is banging on the second. I don't know. Hey. Hey, what you think? Daniel, now that was a hard lesson. Good opportunity. Maybe you should... Apologize. <laughs> What? You're giving me career advice. <laughs> what does that mean? Yeah, I mean, you don't really know what it's like to really care about what you do, Lisa. I do care about what you all over the place, all right? I mean, I always save you from some shit. Just upset about the Khalil thing. But you went there with Issa, man. Yeah, no, no. Don't you roll up on me. Don't you roll up on me. I'm gonna be upset. No, don't roll up on me. I won't dare. All right, I'm so glad she stopped that even though he got down there and gave that kitty cat a little twirl. Let's get to the review. I'm gonna change shirts because I've sweated through this crap. See, right, we just that. finished the reaction. Let's get to the review. I wanna start with episode two first and go over a couple of things in the episode that need to be addressed and I thought were great. So first of all, the we got y'all <laughs> bit was hilarious. I mean, think about it. There are a lot of companies or organizations, nonprofits just like that that feel that they know what's going on with children of color in you know, school situations where they're not getting the right education, they're not getting the right textbooks, they're not having, given the right utensils to actually learn and grow like other students are in better areas of town. But we got y'all seems to feel that they know or have a handle on things because they got y'all. They start going over the logo and how racist and insensitive it is, but everyone who's been speaking about it is kind of going past certain points that need to be made. They're saying it looks like this, it acts like this, it is this, but Issa is the one who can say what the real issue is because she's black. Issa's like, no, y'all got this. <laughs> Don't worry about it. I mean, she's been yelled at enough by her boss just for her trying to help a situation out where she actually addressed this already by stating, hey, I just called these people back and this is what they said was wrong with, we got y'all. Remember that? She got completely chewed out for that foolishness. Now you're asking her what the tea is. Just to see the boss like, I don't understand, it's my hand. Like, really lady? But let's get to Issa and Daniel because this is becoming really juicy. Issa's looking for a place. Basically, her time is coming to a close. Vanessa, who is Daniel's girlfriend, is not feeling the situation anymore. Of course, Issa hasn't met Vanessa, so we don't know who Vanessa is. We didn't meet Vanessa until this episode. So we weren't really understanding what Daniel and her relationship was like, other than he has a girlfriend and his ex-girlfriend, not really someone that he just kind of messed around with, is now sleeping at his place. 
Yeah. Issa's looking for a place, but she is getting denied, denied, denied. She's trying to fix her credit at the same time. God bless Kelly for stepping in as a friend and trying to assist her with this. Y'all saw that 425 credit score on the screen, right? And then when Issa tells her, hey, I'm not living there and paying anything. Kelly being the friend that I am, I'm going to go, well, hold on. Let's start listing what's going on here. So you're staying there because of A, no, B, no, C, no. And you go down that list because you need to make sure what is keeping you there at someone's home rent-free. We all have friends in situations where they need help to stay and we let them stay. That's fine. It's the ones who you don't know that well or are afraid they're going to take advantage of you that you give limits of time to, et cetera, et cetera. Lord knows you don't need a bum sitting at your house, but if you need help and someone's there to live with you and they offer it, that's always good to have. But we need to know what's going on. Kelly does, and so does the rest of the gang, but you know how it is. Issa never tells the full story all the time. So we then get to Vanessa. We got to Vanessa, y'all, and I was actually glad about that because I wanted to know what that relationship was like. They don't have no chemistry now, not one bit. Daniel's over there talking to her, you know, and she's kind of like, oh, you've been over here three nights. A little bit of attitude. It's like, okay. At the same time, he's trying to give Issa some space. He wants to spend time with you, girl. What's the tea? She wasn't even really paying attention to half the things that he was saying. It did not seem like a good chemistry between the two. Hmm. Maybe Daniel really is feeling Issa, but he feels some kind of way about the whole living arrangement because Issa doesn't want to give him that time. And with that being done, he has already got a girlfriend set up in the situation. So he has some basically good pussy to go to when he's not feeling appreciative or maybe a feeling of like or love with Issa. I don't know. It's complicated. Daniel is now also trying to get himself set up with an uh, artist named Spider and get another track out there so he can start booming his music again. He had a good run before, but now everything seems to slow down and he's feeling some kind of way. Now, they, Issa decides to... Now, Issa... Okay. Now, Daniel's going to this club, but he's like, I don't know how to feel about this because this is too much work. My boy was supposed to be there. He's not picking up. I don't want to go by myself. Issa offers help. Issa goes with him to the club. It's a little shady. It's, his name is not on the list. He's already feeling some kind of way. Issa sees their old classmate they went to school with who is doing what Daniel is doing, and Daniel is not feeling the situation. When you're somebody who works hard and does well and you see somebody who's doing the same thing as you and they've popped off faster, but it's like you're doing the same thing, sometimes you're going to feel some kind of way about that. Issa was able to talk through, hey, help us in, let's get up into the club. He's definitely trying to do whatever, whatever. Yeah, roll on in. They get in the club, everyone's happy, right? Whatever. Issa and Daniel then have this weird moment where Issa's go, Issa goes to get him drinks and Daniel is waiting and Issa sees him talking to girls and he sees her talking to a guy. It's like they felt this like, ugh, like, oh, I, I would live for this moment, but why is she talking to him? And I would live for him, but why is he talking to them? God, I wish they would just get it together. We get to this part where um, Issa's like, come on, let's go. Let's go talk to the guy. He's done, you know, performing on stage. Let's make this happen. She gets Daniel to where he needs to go. She then takes the attention off of the classmate by saying, don't you have a kid? Whoop, 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 they start chopping it up. So then Daniel has a moment to talk to Spider, but he doesn't really fully take advantage of the opportunity. Spider says something that throws him off and he's like, yeah, uh -huh, uh -huh, uh -huh, and becomes this weird, really weird, awkward person. Daniel, what the fa? What the fa? Okay. That's when the old classmate then jumps back in the conversation. I think he said something to the effect to then mess, mess it up even further or, a, or maybe give him like a little something something here to be like, well, we should do something. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And everyone's cool with it. Pow, pow. Someone starts shooting in the club. They leave. Issa and Daniel are having this really interesting conversation that I definitely wanted to address because when I say I was feeling where Daniel was coming from and at the same time, it's like, but... Issa was right. You should be working with people, you know, and at versus just being mad that they're doing better or, or have reached success faster than you because of the work they put in. You know what I mean? Daniel feels like I've done all this work. I've had all this talent. It's there for me. Why am I not here? AKA I'm good, but now he's famous. Like how did that work? 
how does that work? And I'm like, ooh, Daniel, I, I honestly feel you in that. It's not a point of jealousy. It's almost like, what do I have to do differently to make this work for me? Because if I just was on that same plateau, everything would make sense. But it doesn't make sense because all the work I'm putting in is not, nothing's coming to fruition. And it's like, do you continue doing what you're doing? Do you change it up? Do you know how to change it up? Or you just stop what you're doing? I'm going to tell you, I'm not giving up on this dream. And I don't think Daniel should either for his character, right? But Issa says, why don't you just work with him? If you're doing the same thing, you both know each other. There's no beef. There's no bad blood work together. Where this episode got tricky for me was the point of when they get back to the house and everything's all chill and good, Issa's like, this couch is uncomfortable and Daniel offers the bed. Trouble, trouble, trouble. First of all, we already know how that's gonna work. At first I thought Issa was gonna get up while he was making music or whatever, sit on his lap and do a whole little bit. That didn't happen, the episode ended, I was good with that. I think as a matter of fact, I'm getting episode two and three mixed up here, but there was a point when Issa was like, well, what about Vanessa? And he went, who? And I said, girl, here we go. Here we, here's the bullshit, beep, beep. Did they break up and we didn't even know about it? Did he, is he not calling her because she's in her own little world right now? I don't know, baby, but I was like, Issa, you're pussy strong, bitch. Run with it. <sighs> Into episode two. Great, right? Good. Okay, we're left with a situation of Daniel and Issa are at a better understanding because the first episode was kind of hard to watch with how Issa and Daniel were like operating. I just did not like that. Now, episode three is backwards like. And that one, <laughs> I'm good with episode three. The ending kind of, I was happy and mad at the same time. It was like, fuck, y'all just got to this good point and here we go again. So where do we start? Honey, we, we start this episode with Issa and Daniel sleeping in the same bed. I told you that was happening. I said, once he goes, well, you can sleep in the bed. I'll just be working in the studio. Daniel, you're not gonna go sleep on the couch, fool. You're going in that bed where she is because you know what's up. It starts off with them just sitting in the bed talking and it was a beautiful moment. And then all of a sudden after, well, what do you really want? And he goes in, he then goes in to eat her. After she has some hot Cheetos in the bed, child. And then she gonna put the hot Cheetos on her body while she's getting eaten out. Now, I don't know what your fantasy is, but I don't even, I don't even fool with hot Cheetos like that. I'm, it's the indigestion, my stomach. It just wouldn't work for me, baby. But... I thought that was real. I was like, but then we end up having another moment of Issa just hoping and wanting and wishing things and us being a part of that situation. Damn it, I wanted to have that really happen, but at the same time, it's too much for them to be in the bed together. I, I'd be lying if I, if I, I would be lying if I say I haven't been in that situation before, okay? Been there done that but that's really i don't know right now for Issa, i don't want that for her molly and Issa meet up and Issa tells her the tea and molly is like girl are you serious are you serious are you serious molly's trying to get keep Issa together because honey you already know it's going to go downhill from there and as uh molly knows from daniel and Issa's relationships before this is not going to go well for them Molly's trying to be a friend. Issa's just trying to think of the easy situation here. What's easy for her? I can stay with him. I don't have to pay rent. I can save up my money. He's going to eat me out. We're going to have sex. It's going to be great. That's where Issa's mind is at. But Molly's like, girl, let's talk about the other stuff that you don't want to deal with right now that is going to happen. Hmm. Okay. Now Molly's got her new, now Molly got the new job and we were waiting to see what this black law firm was giving and we finally got there, child. And at first for Molly, it's like, oh, I live, I live, I live for all of this. But they kind of look at Molly a little funny because Molly came from a predominantly white law firm. Molly then makes a couple jokes here and there about CP time, this and the other. Oh, I love this for all, all of us. Like, she's so excited to be there that she forgets that they've been in this world and she's jumping in and now pretending like this is something new. They even threw some shade at her, talking about mm, maybe at her old law firm they were always on time. It's kind of like, oh, okay, I gotta step back a little bit. I forgot where I'm at. I'm new. 
We're all the same people. We're all the same color, but honey, different strokes for different folks. Not everybody's gonna like you just because you're black, because we all black. There you go. I felt Molly in that instance, because it's like you're excited to be there. It's something new. It's something that you wanted and wished for. And then when you get it, it's not what it seems. It's kind of just how this whole relationship thing with Daniel and Issa is working out. It's not what it seems. It looks good. It looks like it could be great. But let's get down to the underneath the surface and figure out what the, is going on here. Issa does get an offer to move out. She's uh, looking at these apartments and she uh, finds a place. She has to be the uh, property manager, of course. But what is 1500 a month? I'm not excited about my move to LA. Lord, please don't let me have to pay that much unless I'm making super duper uber money cash. Rules everything around me. Back to this. She gets to pay $750 for working on site. Issa, if you don't take that deal, child, let me find something like that when I move to LA. Ooh, taking it. And I know how to use a plunger, damn it. But she doesn't want to lose the good gig she has with Daniel. It's like, but if I do that, it's, it's, this is for free. I can save money. He's the guy. I like him. Blah, 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 blah. All that seems to be working out. But girl, you move there after you messed around on your boyfriend and then ended up having to find another place because you couldn't afford your rent. And then you had to go to him because you couldn't find nowhere else to stay. <sighs> Daniel starts working with their old classmate again on this uh, beat that he had put together himself. He worked on that. He got all the instrumentals for it. And he presented it to his friend to present to Spider to say, hey, this is the track I want to do. What do you think? The guy's like, it's great, but let me add something different to it because I know what he likes. Spider. He plays it and Daniel feels like, oh, you're taking away my shit. This is my stuff. How are you going to do that to me, man? Like... This is, all, he turns it into a competition again and that messes him over. They get to the studio. They were supposed to play the new sample that he, him and his friend created with the extra bass line in there. Daniel plays his own version. The guy likes it, but then he's like, why don't you play him the other version of it? Plays him the other version. Ooh, that's dope too. I don't know what to do, man. His boy who he works with, who Daniel asked, to then work with, to then get to Spider, is now going, you know what? Don't worry about it. I have more tracks for you. Daniel, what you just worked on, what you presented, no longer is even relevant because your jealousy messed with you, man. Ugh. Your frustration. Ah, uh, God, I, I felt Daniel in that moment because it's like you really shot yourself in the foot with that situation. You really did. It was all here for the girls getting back together and giving Issa the run-through talk. You know, it's like, let's catch up again. Let's do this. But at the same time, it was like, listen to what we're saying. We remember the situation. We know what's going on. Help us out. But it was, I'm glad to see the girls were back. And I can't wait to see everybody else again and explore their stories as well. Now, Issa treats Daniel to a wonderful dinner, which I love how it started with Daniel going, God, they haven't even gotten our drinks yet. Do, 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 do. It turned into this race thing real quick because it's a reality for a lot of us black people when we go to places like, are we being treated differently? And you immediately assume based on the people who are there at the place that, okay, we may be dealing with something if your mind is going there. Uh, but I thought that was great that they included that, but it was a really nasty conversation that turned from, you know, Daniel being frustrated about his whole situation that happened with Spider and Issa trying to say, well, you should have done that a little bit differently. And then Daniel turning around to say, uh, it's really funny. You're giving me career advice. I mean, look at you. You're a mess and I've had to save you every single time. Cut to Issa and Daniel in the bedroom and they're sleeping in the bed together, far apart. Daniel tries to uh, comfort Issa and apologize and by kissing her shoulder and eating out the poo town town. Kitty cat come banging y'all. Issa was there for a minute, y'all, but she said, no, I'm not doing this. And I was all here for that. A little bit like, yeah, you could have let him finish and then been like, no, but then it would have been a whole other argument earlier, but I get you, Issa. That was a situation that's a reality and that's like, girl, fuck it. Cut it, end it, that's it. Issa, you gotta do you, mama. You can't be with Daniel like this no more. And if y'all wanna be together, y'all gotta work out your issues and not live together right now. You need that space. Oh, 
This review, I feel like I just ran through a little bit here. I was so jumbled with my words because so much was happening and you know I normally just do this episode by episode. So forgive me if this was a little scatterbrain. I'll do better for episode four, but tell me what you think of these two episodes, episode two and episode three of Insecure. How are we liking the season so far? I mean, I've been given enough moments here to where I can run from the couch and go, no ma'am, scream, howl, cross my arms and feel like the world is tumbling down and coming back together again. So we gotta love Insecure. It's too good of a show. Keep watching everybody. Keep your support. Keep your support up for this show. We got to make sure this shit continues to be on the air. I hate to hear stories like this show's not being renewed. This and that is happening because there were not enough people to watch it when it first came out. And then when it comes out on DVD or on streaming services, we're all like, oh, where were we? This is everything. No, get there now. Shoot. We got hell. We kept Pose up. They were trying to say Pose wasn't coming back for a second season, but that changed quick. Keep this running, honey. I'm ending this now, kids. I gotta go see Happy Time Murders, Black Klansman. I gotta do a review for that. Also, I have my New York trip that I've been trying to clip together. So many videos, so many pictures I'm trying to clip together and express to you how crazy of a trip that was. And my experience seeing Janet Jackson for the Harlem block party. That was the biggest disappointment ever. Can't wait to talk about that. But, <sighs> hugs and kisses. All my best love and wishes to you. I'll see you next time.